Hi there and welcome back to Eye of the Beholder 3. I'm Byron and we are still in the Temple Quarter of Mythlanor, or what's left of it. So let's continue, I say. Well, there's nothing in here apparently. Oh, hi, troll. Bye, troll. You look weird from the side, actually, like your legs are too long. Hmm. Maybe they are. Who knows? Oh, guess what? You're actually too large for the room. Oh, well, that was a waste. They seem to be quite resistant to physical damage, but we get them eventually. Hey, a pole arm. Wait, I'm no longer under the effect of a true seeing, it appears. Yeah. Give me another one then. See? This pole arm is magical. And that is the wand of fear. We might need that. Very well. There is nothing in here. Surprise! Well, you could have a fireball to the face. Ow! Oh, shit! They do damage. Even even though we have an armor class of minus ten, they come through. Oh well. We have a lot of hit points too, so it should be okay. Oh wait, the fireball thingy has gone. Golden Moon attains level 12. And she gets two additional hit points. Very nice. Oh, another one of fear, use the magic missile. Why not? Um, pray for spells. Yeah, well, take another cure light wounds then. And... Well... Maybe resist cold? Maybe another dispel magic. Um, that's pretty much it here. And I want another heal. Touch the screen. Touch the screen. No level 7 spells for gold mode yet. But this will come sooner or later. <coughs> okay. What do we have here? More trolls, it appears. Oh, well, that was fun. Where are you? There. Magic missile seems to be powerful. Have one. Well, that seems to be empty. That not so much. Oh, I'm sorry. Byron attains level 11 and gets 3 hit points. And probably a few spells too, right? Yeah, your first level 2 spell. Awesome. Uh, well. Wow, you have 2 level 1 and 1 level 2 spell. Well, I guess I just rule, right? There is nothing here. 900,000. 
I'm thinking maybe I should have given myself the XP, like, you know, with Alan and I would be older 2 and the book and I would be older 3. But then again, uh, Diana as a mage really needs the experience to get the, to the high level spells. I guess it's a matter of taste, really. As a paladin, you need the most, uh, the largest amount of XP if you want to level up. But as a mage, you might benefit from it more, at least directly, because while well, you get the nice spells. Well, as a as a paladin, you oh yeah, I had, I put the spells in there. I remember. You also get like a few spells, and you get a bit of thaco and stuff. So that's nothing to sneeze at. Well, well. So, you wanted ice, coveted ice. No, I will not replace that. You must be out of your mind. So we put this in here. And we get teleported away. There's a teleporter that would just take us back. See? What is written here? Do you fear your child? The same is written here. Well, um, child isn't the keyword. Fear is the keyword here. So, we happen to have this want of fear. We get teleported again. Choose wisely. So we have braces here, we have wands here, and we have amulets here. Let's take a necklace of fireball. I think it works like that. Yep. And another necklace of fireball. Well, that was a waste. And now there is an, a force field here. If we want to grab through it, it actually hurts. But I think we have a dispel magic somewhere. And now we get the braces of protection. And we still have to dispel this one. We may have to um, rest though. Sure. Thank you. So, if we want to dispel this one, we get access to the spells too. Want of cold, want of cold, want of cold. Not too bad if you ask me. So, um, let's identify you. Braces of protection plus two. That's not bad. And a pole arm plus three called Simox. So you have a trident plus three and a pole arm plus three. And of course a hobble plus five, so. Yeah, it doesn't, can't put it in there. Nice, nice, really nice. So, well, um, we seem to have lots of cone of cold wands. Yeah, we actually do. Why am I? Why do I have this? This is totally useless. Okay, and that's pretty much it. There are two teleporters here. Well, they both bring us back to that spot here, and that's actually it. So I think we should return. Um, to the guild hall. Very well. And now we should actually move uh, towards the direction of the mage guild. Would be somewhere around here. Yeah. 
So let's drop a few more things. We don't need you, we don't need you. Keep you and you and you, we don't need you though. Goodbye. Um, leg? Well, you could eat something. I will keep one apple. Just for shits and giggles. You're good. We don't need you. And we don't need you, and we don't really need you at all. A dagger. Is it magical? I don't know. Let's see. And finally, true seeing. Very well. The deck actually is magical. Okay. Yeah, the heal spells, I know. Hmm. Okay, looks like we're actually good. Before you stands the Mithranor Mages Guild. Even in the best of times, uninvited visitors would be wise to fear for their lives and more beyond these doors. And in these dark times, there would certainly be no shame in walking away from whatever remains within the guild. Indeed, there would be a scant cowardice in running. Do you wish to enter? Oh, uh, well, yes. There's nowhere else to go. Where are we, anyways? Ah, I see. So there are like three teleporters here. This will be fun. Which one do we take, I wonder? Hmm. Oh, I get it. So this takes us here. Oh well, okay. Ogre slugs. Fun and games. That's not too bad. What's in here? Nothing. Um, there's nothing to be had here. Oh, there seems to be a button. Let's press it. You were saying? Well, there's nothing here. Except you, of course. You should die. Oh, well, that was a waste. Oh! Ghosts! Well, they're fun. They cast ice storms. Watch ghosts. Nah, yeah. Oh, there's a teleporter. Interesting. What will that lead us to? Don't really know. Hmm. Weird. What are lots of numbers here, but I can't really see it. 
Uh, before we do that, let's check this area here. There seems to be a book. The Elemental Seasons. The Elemental Seasons is a brief examination of the influence of the seasons and weather on various creatures summoned from the elemental planes. Apparently earth elementals are more likely to thrive during the winter time, while fire elementals favor the summer months. Air elementals and water elementals wax mightiest during the autumn and vernal equinoxes respectively. Strangely, unlike most other handbooks of the mystic arts, this one seems to have been written with ease of reference in mind rather than to impress the author's peers with the use of incomprehensible language. Okay. This book might be important. We keep it. If we can actually access our inventory. Oh wait, there's another book here. Book of Trobriand, excuse me. Somebody everybody anybody wants something? No. Well this looks dangerous. This book appears to be the journal penned by the Archmage Trobriand on one of the lesser known wizards of the ancient realms. As you turn its pages, many strange and ancient secrets come to light, along with a good deal of dust towards the end of the book. Uh, with a good deal of dust. Full stop. Towards the end of the book, the writing grows oddly disturbed in both style and hand, as Trebriand relates a series of experiments in the use of certain magical rings to attract Skeletars and other powerful creatures. What success Trebriand may have achieved is not entirely clear, as the book's final pages are all but obliterated by bloodstains. Okay. Books. So, there was a mage here, well, this is the mage's guild, and he tried to experiment with rings to attract monsters. Hmm. Okay, let's try this teleporter. Guess what? More ogre slugs. Okay. So, we can always teleport back. That is good to know. But that apparently is a door. Well, they could have, you know, given the door a better um, design, I think, because what it actually looks like a wall is just a little bit, you know, moved back. And this teleport here actually leads us back to the entrance area, see? Well, bless me. So we don't have to go the difficult way with this teleport, we could also just use this one here. And we will be here. Oh well, that was a waste. What is down here, I wonder? Nothing. That actually here is an illusionary wall. Uh, it just doesn't look like it because, well, we are under the effect of a improved, uh, no, a true seeing spell. And we have teleporters here. To preserve the winter, uh, no, the realm, the ice of winter. To inspire the realm, the breath of autumn. Um, to cleanse the realm, the heat of summer. And to quicken the realm, the rains of spring. Not the rains of Castamere, the rains of spring. So, well, yeah, but um, we are not going to use those teleporters yet. We have other things to do first. So, if we use this teleporter and then try this one here in the middle. Because, well, that one is new. We haven't tried that one yet. There goes our bless. It is not a biggie. The silken tapestry exhibits the attention uh, to aesthetics and craftsmanship often ascribed to the elven race. Well, nice done. Another door. With an ogre slug. Goodbye. Oh, you. A watch ghost. That didn't work. So, well. Let's 
use those stairs then there's a door to the south and then illusion a wall to the north there are lots of illusionary walls here don't really see right now because well you're seeing for the win I guess you know the sound always makes me think there is something but there's actually nothing what do we have here a cloak of protection minus three minus three so that apparently is a good cloak of protection And a potion of healing. Well, there's another door. You're dead. Well, there's nothing in here. And there's another set of stairs here. Before we use those, we will check this here. There's nothing. Oh, there is something. Stone to flesh. Do we need that? No. Flesh to stone. Um. Well, disintegrate, do we have that? Yeah. Well, the, the mechanics are complicated. It would be easy if you could just right click the thing on the spellbook or something and don't have to go through the manual. Or, like in the earlier uh, After the Beholder games, you just go put them in your inventory and then go into the manual, uh, into the menu, not the manual, and say scribe scores and then you choose which kind of spells you want to scribe. I don't really know why they changed the mechanics here. That was pretty dumb. It just makes it complicated. That is not a good thing if you if you actually make a thing that you already have and then you know make it more complicated. That that is stupid as fuck. So what do we have? More ogre slugs. Well, they can't really do much except die. And what's that? A scrying glass. Okay, that helps with the identifying. Oh, hi. Sneaking up on somebody? Looks like it. Can I have my hammer back? Oh, that will return eventually. There it is. Good night. So uh, that was fun. What's that? Potion of giant strength. Nobody behind us. Very well. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Here we are. Uh, this, those are the stairs that we have just taken, you know. So, um, I think we should walk through here. And, um, well, that's not a door. Let's see where they, those will actually take us to. Oh, okay. Another tapestry made by elves. So we could head to the north or to the south. We start with the south, I think. Because, well, why not? There are a few stairs here. Yeah, well, guess what? We slay you. 
and there is nothing else to be had here. Okay. <clears throat> so this is another illusionary wall here that we just don't see because, well, through seeing for the win. Yeah, whatever. Ow! Oh, uh, you and your bloody ice storm. <clears throat> that actually hurt. Ishan gains a level. No, wait a second. Okay, a few rations, why not? Uh, prayer, okay, no more prayer apparently for us. Let's check this room. Ice storm? Hmm? 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 Okay, then don't. There goes the true seeing. Not funny. See, without the true seeing, does you see that there actually is a wall here, an illusionary wall, but you know. With the true seeing. Can I have it, please? Much easier. Much easier, actually. So there's a button here, and another button here. Yeah, well, that was fun. Oh, well, code of code probably doesn't help much. Whatever. Against the undead? Hmm, code of code. Maybe not. What do we have here? Necklace of magic missiles. A wand of fireball. Ring of Trobriand. Okay. This must be the ring of the mage that was living here. You appear to be hungry. And what is that? A scroll. Evil shall rise by hand of dark god. I must guard against doom of myth the nor. If needs must, shall abide here forever. Quinn. The parchment is too old and frail to withstand even careful handling. It crumbles in your hands and falls to the floor as little more than dust. Okay. Fine. Be like that. I don't care. There's nothing in here. So we uh, move on and check this door. Of course. And there is of course one last door here. With more watch ghosts. Ow. Oh well. You and your bloody ice storms. So there is another set of stairs here. Night. What do we have here? A ring of protection. Well, we need to identify our stuff with Logan Pierce. Well, we could try to. That is a cloak of protection plus three. So a cloak of protection is like plus two compared to a normal rope. So a cloak of protection plus three actually equals a rope plus five minus three minus three. And the ring is a ring of protection plus three. So I guess if we uh, change that with the ring of protection plus two, it's cool. And uh, what do you have? That doesn't make a difference. The 
very well. We're getting lots of nice rings. So that was this. Let's head to the north. I hate you. Uh, well. Who had the heal spells? On second thought. That would be a waste, wouldn't it? To the north. Of course, there's another set of stairs here. Of course. And that's pretty much it. Let's head to the western. And this is where we actually started the whole thing, I think. Uh, pretty much so. Yep. So uh, we could actually. Hello, move on. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, of course, I should go to the south. My mistake. Um, this may be a little far. There goes the haste. And that actually is the set of stairs I was looking for. See? This is where we started the whole affair. And with this teleporter we can actually move back in here. Die already. Thank you. And now we are here again with um, the Four Seasons. And we will take a break here and continue the next video. Oh wait a, moment. Oh, wait a moment, we will kill you before we actually go. Oh wait, does the hammer come back? Yeah. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.